and now we will move on to the next part of the cerebral hemisphere is hypothalamus hypothalamus is the control center for autonomic nervous system endocrine system for temperature regulation for everything so hypothalamus reminds us the higher control center for most of the functions so main nucleus which is present is supra optic and pre optic area of the hypothalamus and the connections it is getting almost from everything subthalamic nuclei thalamic nuclei from the hippocampus from the olfactory area and from the amygdala nucleus which is responsible for memory free prefrontal cortex reticular activating system everything is giving the sensation to the hypothalamus which controls our body through the autonomic and endocrine system okay so according to the signal what is getting in the hypothalamus it will control by releasing or inhibiting the specific endocrine hormones or through the sympathetic parasympathetic signals and some functions is food intake satiety center feeding center it is in the ventromedial nucleus of the hypothalamus feeding center is by the lateral nucleus of the hypothalamus if the lateral nucleus is stimulated even if you don't eat the food you will not feel hungry so that is the thing and satiety center feeling of fullness in your stomach if the ventromedial nuclei is being stimulated then you will always feel fullness in your stomach if there is deficiency in the function the vice versa will take place and temperature regulation that is by anterior and the posterior nucleus in the hypothalamus regulation of thirst this example we have seen in the homeostasis how the water regulation is taking place it is increasing the stimulus for the thirst center inducing the oral intake of water this one we have already seen in the homeostasis and maintenance of extracellular fluid by angiotensin anti diuretic hormone hypothalamus is giving signal to the posterior pituitary also to the angiotensin renal so it is controlling the water balance all the examples whatever we have seen in every system that is controlled by the hypothalamus head control ganglion for endocrine functions okay and finally the oxytocin and adh function in the role of parturition and milk ejection gonadotropin function role in reproduction okay so all together if hypothalamus is damaged lesion the whole body system will remain in imbalance okay and main thing is sleep and wakefulness cycle okay just remember the name diencephalic sleep zone and basal forebrain area so this plays a major role and then suprachiasmatic nucleus this is the nucleus mainly responsible for circadian rhythm what is circadian rhythm 12 hours day and 12 hours light so we are getting adapted to this biological clock so that is because of this suprachiasmatic nucleus in the hypothalamus this is also one of the sleep inducing center in the hypothalamus and it is getting the neural connections from limbic lobe and the cerebral cortex so having role in the emotions okay and finally head ganglion for the autonomic nervous system okay clear and last most is thalamus so thalamus as like hypothalamus this is the last part in the class it is the important relay center in the brain in the sense 
most of the sensory signal which is from the periphery it is reaching the cortex through the thalamus okay whether it is dorsal column pathway spinothalamic pathway or any other sensation trigeminal pathway visual sensation olfactory sensation auditory sensation taste sensation all the sensations is having its higher center in the brain the cortex but none of the sensation will reach the cortex without reaching the thalamus so everything will give its signal to the thalamus and thalamus will be the one deciding analyzing whether to relay this information to the cortex or not so this is called as the relay center okay so thalamus is considered to be the relay center for all the sensory signals if your thalamus is defective then it will not relay any of the sensation to your brain clear okay all the third order neurons in the dorsal column pathway everything will come and synapse over here and this will give the signal to the sensory cortex motor cortex occipital lobe auditory cortex visual cortex wherever it is okay clear so that is the important significance in the thalamus so it is considered to be the relay station and the nucleus which is involved in the thalamus these are the nucleus so in short they will tell you the potato shape of the thalamus if you see the thalamus it will be like a potato okay so these are the nucleus which is present in the thalamus each nucleus has its specific significant functions among that the most important is the medial geniculate and lateral geniculate nucleus which plays a role in the visual signal and audition okay so that is about the thalamus see sensory relay center whatever ascending tracks this is dorsal column pathway spinothalamic tract and then localization in the post central gyrus prefrontal lobe for the taste and then uh, olfaction so this is the relay center and for smooth and coordinated movements from the basal ganglia cerebral cortex remember this thing medial geniculate body is for audition lateral geniculate body is for vision how will you remember this is the most commonly asked questions where people will always do mistake for light lateral geniculate body l l okay for audition medial geniculate body the other one you can easily remember lateral geniculate body is for vision so remember that thalamic syndrome if a person is having lesion in the thalamus all the sensations will be defective so that you call as thalamic syndrome syndrome is group of various diseases so you call it as a syndrome so the first one is it develops depending upon the severity of the lesion you will develop the syndrome depending upon the severity of the lesion nature of the lesion cause of the lesion okay clear first and foremost loss of all the sensations because it will not relate to the cortex a stereognosis you are not able to identify the object by feeling the texture sensory ataxia and thalamic over reactions okay thalamic phantom limb and then amelognosia inability to identify the smell hypotonia loss of muscle tone basal ganglia is involved in giving the signal basal ganglia is responsible for coordinated movements of your body so it results in choreoathetosis and thalamic hand disturbance in the sleep wakefulness so this all together is called as thalamic syndrome so up to this your physiology is over